Hello, welcome to another year of beer blog. Um, I'm sat here drinking a big wine glass full of porter. This is actually Brewdog's Alice Porter. Um, this wasn't the beer I was trying to drink. I was trying to drink a bottle of Trashy Blonde, uh, but certainly the labels are the same colour. So I ended up on a lovely sunny evening drinking a, a big glass full of uh, porter. It's a very nice porter too. Mm. But that's not actually the reason why we're here. The reason that I'm shooting this video is because uh, of this box. It's a box of beer that uh, Chad, um, the infamous, no, no, he's not infamous, he's a famous uh, YouTube beer reviewer. We've, uh, we've done a beer swap. This has got to be about the geekiest beer geek thing I've ever done in my life. I feel, I feel kind of weird being, you know, sort of 40 years old, 41 years old, and uh, swapping bottles of beer backwards and forwards across the Atlantic. But, uh, but that's what we've done. Chad has picked me out a bunch of beers. And uh, I don't know what's in here, so I'm kind of excited to to have a look and see see what's in here. So let's have a look. We've got a letter here from Chad, which uh, in fact let's look at the goods first, shall we? That'll be the fun bit. Okay. So beer number one. <laughs> I'm actually, this is actually really, really exciting. Despite being horrifically geeky, it is actually really, really exciting as well. So beer number one. So, Keegan Ales, Mother's Milk. I know nothing at all about this brewery. Uh, I know nothing at all about the beer. Mother's Milk, I'm gonna guess that's, it's a stout, it says it on the label, I was gonna say it's a stout. So Keegan Ales, Mother's Milk. That's great, that's very exciting. Beer number one. I've never tried that before, I've never heard of the brewery. Uh, if, Chad, if Chad has uh, suggested that's a good beer and I'm going to enjoy it, then I hope, to, uh, I hope to review all of these as well at some point. I've been a little bit slack lately with the whole uh, video blogging thing, but um, maybe I should kickstart that a bit more. So, what have we got here? Beer number two. We've got, again, another beer from Captain Lawrence. We've got the Captain's Reserve Imperial IPA. That's cool. Even the name sounds impressive. It's not that really impressive, you know. I mean, but that looks like a mean bottle of beer, actually. So, Captain Lawrence and Keegan Ales. I don't know anything about these. I've kind of heard of the Captain Lawrence uh, Brewery. Now I, now I hear myself saying the words. Mm. So... What else have we got? Okay. Ah, Southern Tier. Now I really like Southern Tier. I had um, I recently had a bottle of their Iniquity, their uh, their black black IPA, which I think is a really really good full bodied strong IPA. And this is their Gemini. It's a blended and it's an imperial blended unfiltered ale. 50% unfiltered hop and 50% unearthly. Okay, cool. I know nothing at all about this either. Uh, but I can see it's a strong beer. It's full of American hops. Unless Southern Tier have made some uh, terrible mistake brewing that, I'm going to really enjoy that. And what else have we got? Okay, last one. It is... Alright. Brown's Brewing Company. A brown Brewing Company, the whiskey barrel aged porter, porter aged in whiskey barrels. Okay, well you know, I have I have a bit of a, a bit of a love hate relationship with um, whiskey barrel aged beers because I sometimes wonder that the uh, wonder whether the the spirit gets in the way of the character of the beer. Well, you know, the counter argument to that is the whole point of the beer is to is to carry the spirit in uh, in beer form. And we've also got, <laughs> this is funny, uh, we've got a little bag of goodies here from Chad, which, you know, I've, I've, sent Chad, uh, I've sent Chad a little parcel back as well, but I have to say, I forgot to put anything other than beer in it. The best one of these, of course, the buy local, <laughs> buy local beer mat. That's great, you know, really, uh, really fitting for beers that are being traded across the Atlantic. What have we got? We've got a Blue Point Brewing Company beer mat. Brooklyn Brewery beer mat, can't beat that. 
You know, we had uh, we had some of the brewery um, the brewery beers here recently, and they were good. You know, but the, but the strange thing is that you know sometimes when you have a beer that's such a slavish copy of a of an original, you sort of wonder why you're not drinking the original as well. And man, he put the he put the receipt in there. That's thorough. And then we've got Sierra Nevada Glissade. Okay. And uh, Chad has sent me a bunch of notes about about the beers. Okay. I'm just going to read the one about the Southern Tier Gemini IPA because I don't know anything about this. Uh, I know I was going to send you an earthly IPA, but I thought I'd send you the Gemini instead, as it's a superior beer for many reasons. It's a blend of unearthly and their hop, an imperial pale ale. Southern Tier is my favourite brewery. They seem to have a magic touch, and that they can take any style and make it big and bold. I know you like hoppy beers, so this will be right up your alley, I'm sure. Well, Chad, I think you're right there, man. No matter what you think of this beer, I think you'll agree with me, it's the best smelling beer you've ever smelled. I am actually really looking forward to that. I've got to say that, um, and I need to apologise to Chad because I've had these beers uh, for about two or maybe even three weeks now, and I haven't, I've only just got around to opening the box. So, Chad, I'm sorry, man, I really appreciate your promptness and your generosity here. I was a terrible beer trader. I took forever to send you the beers back. I've taken even longer to, uh, to open the box and look. So, from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry and thank you for your generosity. I hope you're going to love the beers I sent you. Uh, there's, there's some really interesting beers in there, some real surprises. Um, it should be, should be an interesting kind of uh, you know, blend of styles that you're going to enjoy. So, I've got some great beers to be getting on with. I'm going to try and uh, review these over the next few weeks. And um, Chad, thank you, man. Here's to spreading brotherly beer love across the Atlantic. And uh, long may it continue. Cheers now.